Do parakeets need a friend? If so, when do you get another bird? For any of you who feel that your parakeet could use some companionship, then getting another parakeet is a great option. For the most part, parakeets do better in pairs. Some birds do better with more than two friends. So yes, parakeets need a friend. However, as with anything else, there are still key facts to take into account before getting a second bird. Parakeets are social creatures and can benefit from the company of another parakeet. For those that live alone with their pet, getting a new friend is one way to combat this loneliness. While we may be able to help provide our feathered friends with all they need in terms of care and attention, there's no replacement for the companionship a bird can have within its own species. What are the benefits of owning two parakeets instead of one? Owning more than one bird can be beneficial if you do not have as much time to spend with your pet due to work and family commitments. This is the main reason that owners purchase a second bird, whether that be another parakeet, a cockatiel or an African grey parrot. Getting a second parakeet, choosing the gender now that you have decided to get a second parakeet, which gender will you get? Even if you do not plan on breeding your parakeets, there are things you should know about parakeet genders and how they may or may not get along. If you happen to know which gender your existing parakeet prefers it would be wise to pick that same sex again so it does not feel like its territory has been invaded by another member of the same species who will try in vain to dominate it. What you need to know about keeping two female parakeets. Getting two female parakeets is never a good idea. In most instances, they will fight if kept in isolation from other birds of the same sex. If conflicts escalate, the birds may injure each other. When two females must live together, try to keep them in separate cages or at least have a divider between the shared space. So long as you avoid keeping two females in close quarters, it is alright for female parakeets to live together. What you need to know about keeping two male parakeets. Amongst parakeets, males are the less dominant gender which makes for a better pairing option. While you can never truly guarantee any two birds will get along, the males cage well with each other providing they have a large enough cage so as not to step on each other's nails. What you need to know about keeping opposite gender parakeets. Keeping a male and female parakeet together is seen as the best method for preventing territorial conflicts. However, there are still instances of conflict that arise so it's important to take precautions when helping them to bond, we detail this below. Female parakeets can be very territorial over their mates, so if a female has already rejected the male it will require some extra space. If you let them have enough space to themselves, as well as play areas that they are both able to access and enjoy, they'll stay happy together for life. How to properly introduce a new bird to your parakeet. When introduced correctly, two parakeets will get along well enough with each other. The key word here is correctly. Putting the new bird in the same cage if you have quite a large cage and plan on putting the new bird in the same cage immediately, although we do not recommend it, there are a few things to do before introducing a new bird into your home. 1. Remove anything that might be dangerous for the newcomer, including any food sources or toxic plants. 2. Place less desirable perches in an area where they can't easily be reached by either of the birds and move more desired ones closer together so that both of them have access. 3. Shuffle up cage accessories such as toys, perches or nesting materials prior to bringing in the new parakeet just so there is no fighting overpriced items from their original spot. Putting the new bird in a separate cage nearby. 1. Ensure both cages have enough toys and perches to keep both birds happy. 2. Place the cages nearby or purchase a joint cage. These are typically used for breeding but can serve as an introductory cage. 3. Begin by feeding your original parakeet from outside of their new bird friend's cage, just to get him used to interacting with another bird near him without worrying about being attacked. 4. Wait until he gets hungry again before releasing his companion out into the main area for some playtime together. This may take up to two weeks as long as everything goes smoothly during introductions. Choosing a friend of a different breed. You do not need to necessarily choose another parakeet as your second bird. Parakeets get along with other small birds such as cockatiels, doves, lovebirds, and even finches. It is important to do some research beforehand just in case they have difficulty getting along with your other bird friend. You should also consider if there are any behavioral traits or illnesses which go hand in hand with certain breeds as well before deciding on an appropriate second pet. When it is best to keep a single parakeet. Sometimes it is best not to get a second parakeet. Some of the following factors may determine whether keeping a single parakeet is more suitable. 
1. Where you live If you live together in an apartment or condo without much room to spare then adding another bird might not be the best idea because it could make your current pet unhappy by being forced out of its territory and also potentially leading to fighting between them over resources like food and water bowls if they're too close together which can lead to injury on both ends. 2. If you have other pets in the home the presence of other pets in the home can be a deciding factor for whether or not to get another parakeet. If you have any type of pet that is territorial, then this may cause your new bird some distress and lead to fighting again. A cat may do okay with one but maybe not two while dogs will typically do very well regardless if there's just one or two birds inside the house. Again, these are all situational so it needs to be taken into consideration before making a decision on adding more than one companion animal at once. 3. Financially, you are better off. While parakeets are generally inexpensive to keep, a second bird still means almost double the expenses. This includes the cost of food, toys and another cage. The general rule is that if you're doing well financially with your first bird then adding a second should not be an issue. If money is tight though do not do it because this will only increase the financial strain on yourself to take care of two birds as opposed to one. In conclusion, now that you know why parakeets need friends of the same species, it's time to decide if a single bird is enough for your needs. Parakeet owners can provide their birds with companionship by buying two parakeets and then choosing whether they want males or females. For example, female-female pairs are typically more territorial than male-male or female-male pairs so while there will be less squabbles about territory, there may be more intense fights between members of the pair over mating rights. Male-male pairs tend to cohabitate well as long as they have enough space not to bump crowns. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, comment and subscribe. And visit mypetparakeet.com where we answer all of your parakeet questions, big or small. Thanks for watching.